Hey y'all, today we're in the kitchen. Uh, we're gonna be doing some, uh, I'm cooking pizza tonight and I thought I would uh, make the sauce with you guys. I haven't really made a cooking video before but I make homemade sauce a lot. So uh, I guess let's get going. You're gonna need a one 20 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Um, I use the San Marzano tomatoes, which is looks like this. They're just the vine ripe tomatoes. And then I got tomato paste. I got, you want one fourth a cup of grated onion or finely chopped. You want one half to one third a teaspoon of, uh, uh, excuse me, one half or three fourths teaspoon of dried oregano. We want one tablespoon of, of dried basil. And you want one fourth or one half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, which I have the red and green hatch peppers that we're gonna put in there today. We like it a little bit spicy here, so you don't have to put it in there if you want to, if you don't want to. Um, yeah, it just says depending on heat. Three cloves of pressed garlic, so it's like either grated or with a garlic press. Two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and then uh, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. So yeah, uh, so if you want to sit back, we're going to go ahead and start uh, grating the onions, then we will get started. All right. I'll be back guys. So right now I'm just grating the onion into the pan. So let me do that and then we'll be on to the next step. All right, so I went ahead and grated the onion. I finally chopped a little bit of it since it was taking forever. Put a little on the floor. All right, just gonna work the onion a little bit. All right, get going. Sorry for all the clanging here. Um, I don't really measure anything. You wanna do your aromatics first, so. Gonna do this much of the red pepper flakes, a little bit more. It's a little bit more olive oil. I'm gonna do about this much of the Italian seasoning. And what I like to do to get the, since it's dried, I like to rub it into my hands to let some of the oils come out. And just put it into the pan like so. Try not to make a mess like I just did. Dried oregano. All right, after you let the, the mixture of onions and spices and everything marinate for about three minutes, you want to put the garlic in. And this is the garlic press I was talking about. And you don't want the garlic to burn because it will burn very easily. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be back. All right, now we're gonna add the, after I added the tomato paste to the pot, I don't know if you can even see that. I'm so trying. All right, I'm gonna add the crushed tomatoes to the pot. All right. Be back. All right, now I'm just gonna let this pot simmer because all the ingredients are all and I put the salt and sugar in there. I'm just gonna let this simmer for a while. I'm gonna taste it and just see how it goes. 
and then you'll have your homemade pizza sauce. All right, guys, I'll see you later. All right, guys, it's been a little while. I let it uh, simmer down. I have it on low right now. I'm just gonna let it put on low for a few hours. It's 3.17 now. So I'm gonna let this uh, cook for a few hours, just on low. And you will have pizza sauce. I did add a little bit more seasoning because, um, like I said, you want to taste your sauce because I just used like a basic recipe on Google and uh, I found out that I needed, like, I put in like two more, I put a tablespoon and a half more Italian seasoning, a little bit more red pepper, uh, the chili flakes, and I added salt and pepper and it's, it is there now. I'm just letting it simmer down now, so. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm excited. All right, guys, it's been a few hours. It uh, looks like this. I am uh, letting it cool down so that I can put it on pizza. I have the oven preheated for the pizza. The dough is over on the corner over there on the other counter. So yeah, I'm excited. This should be good. Anyways, well, stay tuned for the final result.